Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to stream a PS4 or PS4 console to a Windows PC. Now, every time I say PS4, I'm automatically referencing uh, PS4 and PS4 Pro because the steps are the exact same thing for both consoles. I myself am using a PS4 Pro. So a couple of prerequisites. Uh, the first is you need a Sony PlayStation account on the PS4 uh, logged in as well as on the Windows PC app, which we'll download and install later on. I'll show you quickly. Um, the other thing is that in order to use the controller, your DualShock controller with your PC, um, Sony officially on their documentation say that you must use a wired USB connection. Uh, Bluetooth wireless connectivity is not supported. There is theoretically a workaround to this. I have another video explaining how to connect a DualShock controller to a PC. In that video, I'll show you how to do it over a USB connection as well as using a third party developed software that allows you to use a wireless connection. But officially Sony says, nope, you must use a USB wire or uh, the sold separately wireless adapter, which just costs more money. So with that said, let's go to the PS4 console first, and then we'll go to the Windows PC after. Okay, so from the main screen, what you're gonna do is navigate to settings, then remote play connection settings, and then turn on enable remote play. Then go back to the main settings menu once again, go to account management, activate as your primary PS4, and then select activate. Now this feature might not be applicable to everyone. It's only for people that have more than one console. I myself only have one. So if you don't need this step, don't worry about it too much. And the last thing you wanna do is go back to the main system settings menu, then go to power save settings, set features available in rest mode, and then select the checkboxes for stay connected to the internet and enable turning on PS4 from network. This basically means that while your PS4 is in rest mode and you open the app for remote connectivity on the Windows PC, that the second you turn on the app, it'll try to wake up the PS4 so you can start playing it without having to go over to your PS4 button and pressing the power button first. So now going over to your Windows PC, what you wanna do is connect your controller through a wired USB connection. Again, if you're not using a third-party software I mentioned earlier, and that'll allow connectivity to the controller to the PC. Then we're gonna to navigate to this website, which I will provide the URL in the video description, and you're basically gonna to navigate to connecting to Windows PC, and then you're gonna follow the prompts to install the app and uh, basically get installed. It's really quick and easy, just keep hitting next, next, next. So after the installation completes, I never got prompted to reboot my computer and I tried to connect to my PS4 Pro, but I had a lot of problems. So what I just did was reboot the computer and lo and behold, I opened up the app and immediately detected my console. So I recommend you reboot your computer before trying to connect to your PS4 console. Once you launch the app, you're gonna log into the PlayStation Network account. This is basically the same PlayStation account that you have on your PS4 console. Then allow the app to look for your PlayStation 4 console and then simply select it on the screen. So at this point, you're controlling your console from a Windows mode, but there's actually a little button you can kind of hover around with your mouse. You'll see it's, it'll switch to full screen mode. Um, I noticed that over my local network, within my own network, with everything on a hardwired ethernet connection, the console and the PC, it's incredibly fast, uh, fluid and smooth. There is a caveat because as of this video recording today, um, streaming is capped at 720p, not even 1080p. So forget 4K, um, but yeah, it looks pretty good, but you can tell that it's definitely not that high resolution, uh, especially playing games like God of War, for example. You can use this service over the internet so you don't have to be home on the same network as your PlayStation 4 console. Although I don't recommend it because a lot of people like myself will have terrible upload speeds. So you know, sending that data over the internet might not be the best experience, but you can give it a shot if you really want to. And from here, you have full control of your PS4 console. You can use it exactly as you would on a TV. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. If the like button does help, subscribe, and thanks for watching.